Okay, yeah. <laughs> That's not gonna disappoint. John here, and welcome to Cheat Meal Life. And as the title says, it's cheat meal time. And as you can see, oh my goodness, I have an epic spread of desserts. Uh, I got two more ice creams in the freezer. Don't want those to melt. We got some bun cakes here. Now, I don't know where you're from, but out here in Arizona, they have something called nothing bunt cakes. And I'm not a big, you know, cupcake, cake kind of guy for the most part, but these are utterly phenomenal. And uh, as a matter of fact, I, I am uh, not allowed to eat all of these because, uh, well, that'd be mutiny over here with the rest of my family. So I'm gonna have to leave a little bit left. So, and we're doing In-N-Out Burger, which is gotta be my go-to. In and out. Nobody, nobody does it like In and Out. It, it is just uh, absolutely phenomenal. Like, you know, say what you will about it, but absolutely fantastic. Oh my gosh. And I am so hungry. And I am I am gonna do something quite unorthodox for me. I never start with desserts. But I'm feeling really hungry and that sweet tooth is just, <sighs> and this uh, sea salt caramel truffle is calling my name. So I am going to actually jump into this first and uh, before I jump into the in and out So, hey, I hope you guys have a great week. Hope you worked hard and I hope you earned this cheat meal because I did and I am going to enjoy this. So here we go. Sea salt caramel truffle. Mm. Oh my gosh. I don't know about you guys, but I'm an ice cream fanatic. I absolutely love ice cream. Mm. You know, I didn't have much of a sweet tooth growing up but as I got into better shape and started lifting more weights, my sweet tooth just went through the roof. I have these little salty chocolate truffle bits or whatever they are, but man, with the caramel, oh, so good. Mm. This is kind of a off-brand private selection. I live where they have the Fry's Marketplace. It's kind of like their own branded, I think it's from Kroger or something like that, but normally I'm a, a little bit of a snob when it comes to ice cream. I kind of like the good stuff, but boy, they did a good job with this one. Mmm. And I'm always down for new ice cream brands and flavors, so you guys let me know what your favorite stuff is. I'll probably try it. And what I like about this is this pint of ice cream, it's actually a pint. There's crap that these companies are doing, you know, making them 14 ounces. Hagen Dazs and a lot of these other brands, Baskin Robbins, ripping you off, driving me nuts. At least this is a real pint of ice cream. And it feels weird eating his ice cream first. It's like looking over my shoulder, someone watching me. Most people that know me. I know I would never do that. Quick little appetizer. Now, this is what I've been waiting for. <clears throat> Well, that's 
suppose I should use a plate here. We got some fries. I know a lot of people like to do it animal style. I don't know. Not my thing. I do like to put a little spread on them. And I got me four three by threes. Truth is, I normally do five of them, but I got so much dessert today, I, I went a little nuts. So, oh man, oh, that smell, oh, absolutely fabulous. Boy, in and out. You whisper your sweet nothings to me all the time. Oh, come on now. I mean, come on. This is just... Mmm! Oh, man! All that work all that eaten clean oh man so I can get this it's all worth it mm. I need a moment Oh, amazing. Mm -hmm. That cheese trying to get away from me. Yeah, right. Slap a little bit on there. Probably get a little messy. Mm. Oh man. I never tire of it now. There's just something about that saltiness, boy, that cheese. <laughs> what kind of cheese that is? American cheese. You know, the kind that <laughs> never really fully melts. <laughs> Super high sodium. Oh, absolutely delicious. Into number two. Oh, I hope I got enough food because I am hungry. Oh. Mm. 
Mm. Oh, man. Oh, so good. Hope you guys had a great week. Working hard. Earning these meals, you know. It's great to be able to you just unleash and, and enjoy the type of food you want to eat from time to time. And actually still be able to lose weight doing it. It's a beautiful thing. Gotta get all that cheese. Too good to, too good to waste. I don't know about you, but like I'm just I'm a cheeseburger guy. I know for some people, like pizza's their thing. Don't, don't get me wrong, I'm, I love me some pizza, but when that hunger just gets insane, nothing quite does it like a cheeseburger. Oh. And now it's usually my go-to. I love me some Five Guys too, though. It's a little, a little pricey. When you can eat as much as I can, even a stinking cheat meal, man. You know, including the desserts, start costing you <laughs> 50, 60, sometimes 70 bucks. It's just, it's a little out of control. Might have to look into buffets or something. Going down nice and smooth. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. I like onion on mine. I don't know, it just adds a lot to it. Oh man, there's paper trying to get in my burger. There's more fiber maybe. Mmm. I 
got me some variety pack cookies from Costco. Chocolate chip, oatmeal raisin, and that macadamia nut looks looks pretty good. I've never been a big uh, cookie person either, but I don't know. Lately, I've been calling my name. And they got me. I've got a little local uh, pie shop called Pie Snob. They do pies and cheesecakes, and they had this. Uh, they change their menu all the time. You know how those places are. And they had a, a white chocolate raspberry cheesecake. And these things just look big, juicy. So uh, we'll give it a shot. It's uh, not low calorie, that's for sure. These desserts are just sitting here. I just keep looking at them. <laughs> mm. <clears throat> yeah, that texture and flavor from the raw onion where they like cook it ever so slightly. Just goes perfect on there. Mm. And number four. Yeah, I knew it had to come to an end sometime soon. Always looking for ideas for new cheat meals too. I can't say that I really. <clears throat> Man, I love me some pizza, but out of all the cheat meals I've done over this course of the year or so, dropping all this weight, there's really not been many pizzas in there. Not sure why. Bring water? Oh, yeah. yeah. Hands are so greasy. <laughs> Can't even open these things. But is this the last one? Oh, yeah, it is. Jeez. You know you're hungry when your four three by three pretty much tastes as good as the first one. Mm. Have I mentioned I like food? A little bit. And the thing growing up, there were no in and outs in Arizona. 
I mean, what did I even do? Man. Now, in and out. I mean, how did I get so fat? What was I eating? Hmm. I keep looking in the bag like another 3x3 three three is going to magically appear in there, but it doesn't. Oh well. Oh man, is that fabulous. I, and you could, I don't know if you can see this, but this, this cheesecake, some of the cheesecake you get, you know, from a grocery store, even some restaurants, they're really hard and solid and dense. This deal right here is, there's just a lot going on. It's just not like a brick, but this thing is heavy. And, oh, I can tell it's gonna be my my type of, uh, my type of cheesecake. Now, some cookies. Some cookies. Oh boy. And I'll put a little calorie counter up here if you guys want that. Kind of keep track of what I'm eating. Now see, now I'm kind of frozen. I got the chocolate chip, I got the oatmeal raisin, macadamia. I'm really not sure where to start with this, so... Oh, start with the old chocolate chip. Actually, I've never had Costco Kirkland brand cookies, so... They seem to do other stuff really well, so... We'll see how this goes. It's pretty good. It ain't no crumble cookie. But then again, two crumble cookies cost more than this whole whole box of cookies. <laughs> mm, that's good. Good texture. I mean, everything tastes good to me right now, but I'd say the chocolate chip cookies are middle of the road. I've had better, but I've definitely had worse. All right, oatmeal raisin, here we go. <clears throat> First off, it's delicious because right now everything I'm eating is delicious. <laughs> it's pretty good. I kind of like the chocolate chip cookie. Not the best I've ever had, but <clears throat> pretty darn good. White chocolate macadamia. Boy, I, these cookies grow on me. I have high hopes for this one. I'm, I'm hoping it's gonna be good. So, mm. Mm. Which one was the best? That one was. Ah, might as well eat you then. And like a ding dong, I uh, ran out of memory card on my camera, yeah. 
amateur night. So, but I used that opportunity to grab some more ice cream from the freezer and uh, we're gonna get back into these desserts. Now again, I'm not too sure where to start. I, I got it. I've been building this up and if I, you know, I've never had it, but if this turns out to be just not what I'm expecting, I'm just, <laughs> I'm gonna be heartbroken. So let's, uh, <clears throat> let's give a little taste. Let's see what it tastes like. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> That's not gonna disappoint. Holy crap. That literally is like the most perfect texture of a cheesecake I've ever had. Not too hard, not too soft. You know, it's a white chocolate raspberry. Raspberry is like completely fresh. Chocolate's not like overpowering. Like the cheesecake is the cheesecake. Like that's the predominant flavor, but it's just the right amount of raspberry, just the right amount of white chocolate, and then the texture crust. Oh my, oh my gosh, that is ridiculous. <clears throat> All right, let's uh, get into some pralines and cream. Is always, always one of my favorites. You know, I'm not a huge fan of a lot of the flavors of uh, Baskin Robbins, but boy, that pralines and cream is. Yep, that never disappoints. Oh, I have to say, <clears throat> it doesn't taste as good as I remember it really as a kid. It just seems like the quality is up. Maybe gone down a little bit, but unfortunately that's been the case with uh, a lot of things. I mean, look at McDonald's. You know, they're, remember when the uh, burgers used to have meat in them? <laughs> I don't know what that stuff is called these days. Don't get me wrong, still, still delicious, but not much of a, not much beef in there, I would imagine. Funny how different <clears throat> the caramel is from the <clears throat> first one I ate. Oddly, that fries private selection actually tasted more like real caramel. This, uh, now that I'm thinking about it, this tastes a little more fake, whatever that means. Think of it, the actual vanilla ice cream versus that too is the odd thing that the Kroger brand private selection is a higher quality than the Baskin Robbins, but I mean, I think it is. Man, those candied pecans. <clears throat> oh gosh. That's decadent. Anybody else out there enjoying the cheat meal with me? Let me know what you're having. I'd like to hear it in the comments. Pretty good. All those carbs are gonna start getting in my veins. Let's see. Well, you know, probably should have my share of the butt cakes and then let the rest of the family have theirs before they uh, break out knives. Now here we got 
chocolate chocolate chip, lemon, red velvet, and white chocolate raspberry, which just happens to be the best one. So, let's start with the chocolate chocolate chip. And oh, again, I, I wish you could see this better, but these things are so moist. And with that topping, most of them were kind of like cream cheese based or I think this was more of a frosting, but it's, you know, oh, they're, they're just completely homemade, which is perfect. Oh. I'm not the biggest chocolate fanatic. I crave it here and there, but oh man, this, that is some good chocolate. All right, <clears throat> lemon. God, it's just, it's so moist. It's just perfect. I don't know about you, but sometimes I'll go to the grocery store and get one of those like real, I don't know if it's a bun cake or whatever, but it's super moist, like a lemon cake with the icing on it. <laughs> I'll just eat the whole thing. <laughs> oh my gosh. Probably not a good idea, but. Oh, if you like those lemon cakes, this is just insane. Mm. Oh. Why am I putting those back in? I have no idea. Sugar's getting in my brain. Now for the red velvet. These ain't exactly low calorie either. This is the one that has the red velvet with kind of the cream cheese type frosting. Oh my gosh, I can't wait for this. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. These things are rich. Now my favorite, white chocolate raspberry. <clears throat> yeah, I don't even like white chocolate, but whenever it's part of something other, you know, like a secondary part of a dessert, then all of a sudden, I don't know, <laughs> it just turns out amazing. Or maybe it's just a coincidence that it just happens to be in a lot of the things that end up tasting really good, I don't know, but. There we go. Oh. oh my gosh, that is, I don't know how many calories I'm at. Should be up here somewhere, but I know it's starting to get up there, but then I don't know about you guys, but <clears throat> You, you start putting a bunch of calories down, foods start to taste really different. And uh, as in, it's not as good. <laughs> People wonder, you know, it's like, well, you try eating five, 6,000 calories or something, and then start eating food that you think you really like, and you tell me if it tastes as good as if uh, you haven't eaten all day. But this, I mean, this still, is just absolutely phenomenal, despite wherever I'm at gallery-wise. Mm. Mm. All right. So we've got Ben and Jerry's cannoli. I 
think I had this once before, and uh, really good. So uh, what I like about it is not it's not overly sweet, which at this point, <laughs> with the amount of sugar, that's probably a good thing. Uh, it, it's definitely rich. It's got them just little chunks of whatever they put in them, cannoli, cone and chocolate, whatever. Mm. Yep. I like how every bite's like a little bit different depending on what, what kind of chunk you get in there. What is it, that Mastar Pub and Cheese or something? Yeah, I did some of the bites, not in other ones. Oh man, that's good. some point but man it's like when I was a kid or something oof all the sugar wow <laughs> I can feel it you put down sugar like that you know five ten minutes after you're done Feels like you had 10 cups of coffee. Another hour. <laughs> Feels like you drank a whole bottle of Nyquil. Hmm. Well, the nights of a, a cheat meal. Not that I have problems sleeping, I sleep like a baby. But boy, on these nights, <laughs> you, you lay down and it's over. <clears throat> Lights out. Probably not the healthiest thing in the world to eat a meal like this in the evening, but then again, it can be done. You know, you, you don't do it all the time. That's why it's called a cheat meal. If I ate like a fat pig all the time, it wouldn't be a cheat meal. I'd just be eating like that all the time. The fact that I do eat very healthy <clears throat> the vast majority of the time, and then I save it up for moments like this, and oh, it is so worth it. That's about halfway. I think it's time to get into this cheesecake. Before this uh, sugar wall hits me, because I think it's, I think it's coming. Like for me, like yeah, I just eat and eat and eat, and I'm still feeling good, and then all of a sudden, boom! Right into a wall. I'm like, uh, if I had to eat another bite, I think I'm gonna die. Like I don't know. For me, it just like comes on all of a sudden. So. I mean, right now I still feel good, but uh, I don't want that to happen before I get into this beast. So let's dig in. And this is, man, this is a happy slice. I think when I was checking, this thing is clocking in at 1300 calories or something, like something ridiculous, it might even be more than that. Oh my gosh. I, mean, I don't want to say that's like the best cheesecake I've ever had, but I mean, I've, had, I've had a lot of cheesecake. But man, is that good. Oh, oh my gosh. I mean, 
mean, for what these cheesecake slices cost, too. Holy crap. Like I said, you got a big appetite. Boy, his inflation, these cheat meals get kind of expensive. Then again, I mean, with the amount of food I can eat in one sitting, I've never really done food competitions or challenges, but hell, I mean, maybe I'll do a few of those for my next <laughs> cheat meals in the future. Maybe they, you know, get it for free. Or well, maybe they even pay me to do it if I if I finish it. I might have to look into that. Mm. Oh my gosh, that lights out rich. Wow. Yep, I feel it coming. I'm getting close to full here. All good things got to come to an end eventually. <clears throat> that crust on there is just right too. Just the right amount. Sometimes the cheesecake, like the crust is like halfway up and then the cheesecake I'm like like I'd like some cheesecake with these ram cracker crust please this is this done right oh man I think I'm about ready to tap out <laughs> I'll have uh, again I'm sure the total calories should be up there I am quite curious to see what it actually is at. I don't know, but I know that I am pretty stuffed, which means it's got to be up there. Oh, this was tremendous. I'm going to save my last one here. Mm. Oh, that was absolutely amazing I hope you guys enjoyed it I mean <laughs> you can tell I did that's for sure don't forget to like and subscribe and again don't forget you can lose weight and still eat great as we did today we'll see you in the next video